Hello everyone. It's James again. And today I want to talk about the narcissistic propaganda that's out there. And an example of it that I witnessed yesterday while at the store. And how this ties into what I've been talking about lately. As I mentioned in the last video regarding narcissist men and simps are in their heaven. And they don't want anything to change. Because they are getting all the narcissistic supply they can get. And access to all the women they want. And the main reason why this is. Is because men. Good men are being destroyed in our society. And the good ones that haven't been destroyed yet are walking away for their literal safety. Which directly affects and impacts the good women. Because the number of good men for them to meet go down. And the number of evil men for them to meet goes up. Now most of you get this fact. However. There are some of you still stuck on. Well this happened to me and I'm a woman. Or it goes both ways. Or men do this and that and the other too. And to that I will say again. Yes. Narcissistic abuse happens to both men and women equally. And I believe there are just as many male narcissists as female narcissists. However. Our society sees the narcissistic behavior and abuse that narcissistic women do. And women that are starting to go down that path as somehow normal and socially accepted. However. The narcissistic abuse that men do is seen as abuse. Which is what it is. Now does that mean your abuse is any less? No. It just means. Abuse to men is sanctioned. Encouraged. And applauded by our society. And this should make you shake in your shoes and drop this nonsense of pretending like you can't see the literal hell that is going on around us. And as I pointed out. This hell is created by indoctrinating our children at young ages. And sadly the indoctrination the young girls get is that of adopting the mindset. And traits of the narcissist. And for it to become a part of their normal everyday life. I mentioned this is done by way of the movies. Television magazines, books and novels, music, and other media and sources of entertainment. Again, most get and understand this fact. But there are some that say, no one listens to that mess. And that you would have to have no brain to go along with this type of programming. And to that I say, what about all of us then? Are we all stupid because we went along with our narcissistic parents programming as children? Are we? Are we complete and stupid morons because we went along with our parents programming and brainwashing? Are we? Are we stupid because the person we married or dated love bombed us? Trauma bonded us. And took us through literal hell and we stayed way too darn long. Are we complete idiots? Are we brainless losers or what? Well I will answer this question. We aren't losers. There are some very brilliant and smart individuals I've talked to here. Bright bright people. People with a lot of good character. That have strong minds. And strong wills. These people aren't losers. And these people aren't dummies. And I have news for you they and we. And I fell for the brainwashing. And I have some more news for you. The same type of horrible and sick and twisted brainwashing that was used on us. The puppet masters use on a bigger scale. And have all the money and mediums they can distribute through. And if no one listens to that mess. Why on earth would all of these industries make billions in revenue? And why is this world so screwed up? Please tell me that one. What answer do you have for why it's screwed up? Brainwashing to the masses isn't real and only brainless people fall for that stuff. But one person getting brainwashed by a narcissist. That's somehow not the same as the mass brainwashing to the so-called brainless people. And though I might sound a little mad. I'm not. However. What I am glad is this type of stuff comes up. Because it gives me a chance to stand up and point out what is happening and why it continues. It continues because people deny it is happening much like what happened to us in our private lives. And somehow a big deal is being made about nothing at all. Yet things get worse and worse and worse. 
and it gives me a chance to present the information that is needed. So maybe one more person wakes the heck up and sees how this programming is destroying both men and women. Because even if you look at the male bashing that is going on in our society, because that's what it is. It's open right in your face not hidden. Male bashing. This male bashing is just removing the good men from society. And leaving good women to have only narcissist men to choose from. And the longer this goes on, the more and more good women will have a higher number of narcissist men in their life. And less of a chance of meeting someone decent. Which brings me to the narcissistic propaganda. You see. Just like the narcissist in your life. The puppet masters will deny any manipulation and ill intent when their actions show what they are really doing. Think about how many times you talked to your narcissist and it just went round and round and round. And you presented facts. Showing where they are doing things that was harming you and harming your family. And they just denied denied denied. And they even said how they are wanting to build a good life with you. When all the facts show they are trying to harm and destroy your life. And the longer you talk to these so-called people. The more you end up drug in deep water. Because the narcissist is just stalling for time for their plans to fall into place. So they deny deny deny. Until they have you in the position where they want you. And even then they will still probably deny deny deny. Well the puppet masters are the same way. I mentioned how you can go to every newsstand and see something that teaches our women. How to one-up or destroy the man. Even if it's in a small way. It's done. And you have to ask yourself. Even some of the headlines on many of these mainstream magazines. Would you dare see these titles there if they were the reverse against a woman? And the answer is no. No way. No how. And in this answer. It should tell you everything that you need to know. These puppet masters. Social engineers. Whatever you want to call them. Are targeting women to turn them into something evil. And they are conditioning men to accept this fact if they want to have access to a woman. And as mentioned before. These people that make the system we live under don't care if good women get caught up and destroyed by a narcissist man. Because they believe such a woman got what she deserved by not playing the hand she was given to play. And this should make every good woman mad as heck. But with that being said. I was at the store. And I noticed the mainstream magazines. People and some others. Or at least what I believe was people. It might have been one of the other big ones. Had Prince Harry and his wife Meghan on the covers. And there were big captions talking about how there's going to be some changes in the palace type of thing. With Meghan showing a powerful smile. Like she was going to take over and things are now going to be done her way. And then there was another one that said something in a big pow type of symbol surrounding the picture. Prince Harry takes a back seat. Now regardless if they were talking about Harry taking a back seat in his car. Or to whatever. The gist of what we are made to think. Just by the title is. He's learning his place as a man. Happy wife. Happy life. And I'm going to tell you ladies. This part of narcissistic abuse doesn't happen to you. Like what is happening to men. Society doesn't print crap to make women look like dummies. And powerless. Yes. We were abused the same individually. However. In society. I'm sorry. This is something that mostly. Not completely. But mostly happens to men. Now what do you think would happen to such a magazine that printed such headlines about women with in conjunction to their husband. Like it was a good thing. The man was wielding his power over his wife. That's right. The magazine would be pulled and it would be run out of business. So why doesn't that happen here? Can someone explain this to me? Oh that's right. The narcissist isn't trying to brainwash anyone right. They have no idea what anyone is talking about. And it's about equality. Even though the evidence shows it's about dominance. Which should scare each and every one of you. Especially if you have children. 
because people do get affected by this stuff because it surrounds us 24 hours a day. It's everywhere. So I challenge some of you good women. Grab some of this propaganda out there and report on it. Don't say. No one reads it. Because they do. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. Go grab a copy of Cosmo and find some of the articles in it that are examples of what I'm talking about. And go over it step by step how it's destroying our society. And by doing so. You may save one woman. Which gives hope to one man that he might find a good woman. If we sit back and say the brainwashing is for dumb people. While the world goes deeper and deeper into hell. We will be completely lost. But if we fight back. If we fight back, we have a chance. And we are showing the most high for those that are believers that we know he's with us and all of our fights. And we aren't just leaving it for someone else to do. Or worse. Making people feel dumb for falling for mass brainwashing. Which is no different than the brainwashing we fell for at the hands of the narcissists in our life. Something to think about. Well that's all I have for now. I hope everyone had a blessed day. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you have already, I do thank you. Also, please don't forget to click the little bell to be notified each and every time I make a new video. And don't forget to like to push this video to the front of YouTube. And if you want to support even further, you can do so by the way of Patreon. With that said, Let's continue to pray for wisdom. Let's continue to pray for strength. And let's continue to pray for courage. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.